Well, Jason, big weekend coming up. The lads are uh, welcoming Bambury United to the brewery field. How much are you looking forward to it? They remind me so much as where we were about three or four years ago yeah. in terms of they've come up, the feel good factors there, you know, they're, they're nothing to fear. Um, and the results are showing that, you know, they're playing some excellent football. Um, and when you've come up a level, you know, you have that fear, you know, or so should I say no fear. So we need to make sure that we're really on top of our game because, like I said, I said it in last week's interview, the, the results, performances haven't been good enough. Um, and you've seen that, you know, there's a couple of players in, we've never, we've been non-stop trying to get other players in but the lads on the pitch on Saturday have got an opportunity to cement the players in the team and, 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 the, and the club moving forward because that's what we're looking for you know with the short-term goals and there's obviously long-term goals and Saturday is a massive game for the football club massive yeah I can sense that frustration from you last week after after the final whistle and, and that's what we want a reaction to isn't it we want you know to use the anger we felt at the result last week to to drive us positively this weekend definitely you know the teams that we've always had at spending with they've been a hard to beat They've been committed. They've been on the front foot. You know, we need to, we need to get that back. Um, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, as they say. You know, but we've had a we've had a real good ride over the years. You know, and we're having a little bit of a sticky patch. Every club goes through it. You know, but it's characters who need to come and bounce back out of it uh, in, and lean from the front, lean from yourself. You know, it, it hurts more than anybody when we get beat uh, because the club's so close to my heart. But like I said, moving forward. We've got to take small steps and Saturday is a big, big game in terms of where we need to be in our destiny for the league because you know, we're looking at the wrong end of the table rather than the right end of the table and the players that we've got in this dressing room shouldn't be in that case. And you know of course that the fans are going to stick with you, they've been there all the way through this, this ride over the last few years and, and, and they can really play a part now, can't they? Massively, you know, massively. Like, you, you look at the, we, I think there's 20,000 population in and we, you know we had 12 or 1300 there last last home game, and they've had nothing to shout about at home. We haven't won a game, you know. So we need to start you know, putting putting smiles back on faces. You know, there's nothing worse at five o'clock when you when you come out off the off the pitch and you haven't won a game, and it spoils not only our weekend, it spoils the fans' weekend. Uh, but we've got to be selfish, you know. We, you know we've got to do it for the 30 odd supporters who went down to Kettering and, and witnessed that. You know, they, they had a decent first half, if you like. But again, we, we, we didn't see the game out. We've got to make sure our 45 minutes turns into 90 because we've done it in spells, but we haven't we haven't done it really over over a period of, of 90 minutes, and that's what we're looking for on Saturday. And it's to do justice the, the volume of work that's going into every game. You know, I see it when I come to the training ground here, yourself and, and Lewis now coming into the club, and, and, and Jamie Chandler, you know, putting so much effort into the preparation for every game, and yourself starting across here to get a train yeah. as well. That amount of effort, it's got to build up and, and, and be rewarded at the weekend. Yeah, of course it does. And, and like I said, the, 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 the amount of work that goes on, just not on a Tuesday and Thursday, it's, it's every day of the week. But every every team in the, in this league will be doing that. Every manager and every coaching staff will be preparing well. And you can see that, you know, the, the league's a tough, tough league. Um, but I think that you said that we, we need the fruits of our labour to come shining through because there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. Um, the players do respond. The players are working hard in, in, in training, but like I said to everybody, um, manage, management included, you know, you don't get judged on a Tuesday night in training. You don't get judged on a Thursday. You get judged on a on a Saturday, three or five o'clock, and on a Tuesday night between quarter to eight and ten o'clock. So yes, it's nice to to see the lads with a smile on the face because, like I said, when you when you're not winning games, there's sort of a doom and gloom in the camp. But that's not the case here, you know. But they, they realise now, you know, we've brought hopefully a couple of players in this week. There will be more players coming in. You know, and it's up to them if they want to stay at this football club because it's an excellent football club to be at. You know, they've got to earn the shirts. And just finally, looking back at Saturday, I had the pleasure actually of visiting Banbury last year with, when I was working for Barrow, and it is, like you say, a very well organised, ambitious football club. And the, the, how impressed have you been with the way they've stepped up to the new level? Yeah, massively, massively. I, I, I'll say back in the interview, I remember the first year we came up. You know, we had Stockport County at home, and you, you, you're sort of rubbing your eyes together and thinking, "Wow, the hell are spending more <laughs> playing Stockport?" And we beat them, and then we beat FC, and we beat Bradford, and you think, "Yeah, well, this league's easy," <laughs> uh, and, and, it, and it certainly wasn't. You know, but like I said, and that's similar. To, to these, um, you know, they've, they're, they've got a feel good factor, but we know on our day, if we perform anywhere near our capabilities, we'll be a match for anybody. Um, and we need to start making spending more as a fortress, and, and hopefully that starts on Saturday because we've got it's the first of two big games.